hey guys welcome to or back to Celeste's corner so today i'm going to be filming a story time which i haven't done in forever um so this story happened yesterday and as you guys can tell from the title below i got my fingernail ripped off So first of all, let's say how it happened. So we were super excited. We we're gonna go and buy a new bed or look at a potential bed at Leon's and sit in the middle of the car and then Hector was beside me and then Alexis was on the other side of me. So Hector comes out of the car and I have to scoot over from the middle to the side and then get out the car. So to move over to the side, I push down with my hands to slide over and when I s pressed down with my hands my fingers just went boom and they went backwards and my pointer finger bent all the way back and these were brand new nails I got them done the day before so my whole nail came off and I didn't even realize it happened until I looked at it like I was just holding it really like tight because it hurt really bad and I was breathing breathing I started crying and then when I looked at it because I was like let me look at it I saw my nail completely off and right now the fake nail is still there which I'll get into um, but it's completely flat but when it first happened it was sticking up almost 90 degrees and so I saw my like flesh like my nail wasn't there my nail is completely gone so we go to the hospital the hospital that I had Alexis at, at was um, St. Joseph's Hospital and it's quite a far distance from us it's a good like 35 to 40 minutes away from us and there's a hospital just down the street from us called humber river humber river has a very very bad reputation um it's known as like the death hospital <laughs> so everybody knows just not to go there and they just got like a huge major like um i guess i can say update or whatever the hospital is beautiful, it's very technical, there's a lot of technology, there's even like a little robot walking around, it was totally like cool. The hospital was again very beautiful, it was clean, I saw nothing wrong at first. We see the triage lady and she just like was really like nonchalant and she was like, okay let me see, mm -hmm. okay here's a bracelet, go inside. And I'm like, okay, didn't think much about it. Then. We're waiting for, I would say, like 35 minutes, and we get put into a room. Once we get into that room, we're waiting for maybe like an hour, an hour and a half, to see one of the nurses or the doctor, whatever he is. And he was cool, nothing wrong with him. Um, he took a look at my finger and he's like, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the nail on which I was like okay like I was here preparing myself that they're gonna take my nail off and it's gonna hurt and whatever so he said that we're gonna keep the nail on because if we take the fake nail off my real nail comes off with it and there's a major major chance and it's most likely that my real nail would not grow back we're gonna keep the nail on and if anybody some of you girls have fake nails you know that they start to grow out so what i have to do is i have to wait for that nail to grow out with my real nail and when it gets to like all the way to the end clip my real nail and take that fake nail off and then it'll be back to new so a few months from now so i'm perfectly fine with that he leaves and like another nurse is coming so this nurse i already had a as you can say confrontation with her um she was the one that brought us from the waiting room to the room that we were in and she was like really weird she kept saying like go to room eight go to room eight go to room eight and i'm like okay 
like I heard you the first time and like she says it to our face yet she keeps repeating herself like we're not stupid I heard you say go to roommate okay I'm going to roommate like what does it look like I'm doing anyways so she comes in and they literally literally just sprayed my hand with some water and I was like, I came to the hospital for some water? I could have just washed the blood off at home. Like, what? That's not even the worst part. So, she's trying all these different things to wrap my finger up. So, the first thing that she tries is regular gauze. So, gauze is very stretchy. And it's supposed to stretch. So, the way I would do it is to wrap it around the finger a little bit slowly at least at first to make sure that it's actually staying in the spot and then wrap it around and tug just a little bit to where it can wrap right now she puts it there doesn't even like hold it down or anything she puts it there and she just goes and she's going like super fast and like, like this big ball on my hand and i'm like what are you doing and it's she started all the way at my knuckle so it was wrapped all the way up here and it slid like down here and so i said to her i was like it's sliding off and then she's like yeah yeah it's okay it's supposed to do that and i'm like okay it's not supposed to slide off but okay and like two minutes later she's like it's not working is it no no it's not that's literally what i just said to you but whatever so she takes it off like super rough and like it's hurting my finger again because my finger just stopped hurting like it felt perfectly perfectly fine the only difference is that it was still bleeding so it starts hurting again whatever she leaves for another 10 minutes goes and gets whatever she comes back with this weird gadget thing and she's like oh my god like this is like a new thing that we just got so i'm like excited to use it and i was like okay and so i'm going to try to explain this the best that i can for you guys so you know the tape that it's clear and you usually use it with gauze so it's that on two sides okay and then in the middle is this round thing so it almost looks like this hold on okay so these are alexis's little hair ties right you know these ones where they're like super thick and like I guess they're like cotton or whatever anyways so imagine one of these and there's two of them okay and then on the sides is the tape so the way that this new thing works is these things go on the tip of the finger and then the tape goes here and here so again my nail bent backwards this way so she starts putting the tape here brings it around this way and puts it this way which means my nail is going back this way when she's tugging on the tape and i said to her that hurts ow that hurts don't do it that way and then i said how about you try putting the tape this way to this way to where the nail gets to go downwards just an idea she's like oh well okay she does it and the tape sticks okay feels very uncomfortable kind of tight it's pushing down on my finger so i didn't like it then here's this next part <laughs> so again we're gonna use the example of that hair tie now i got a pink one instead of blue one but so this little pink thing it's almost like a condom okay bear with me so when you put this here it's supposed to move all the way down and go down the finger but to do that you have to push down on my broken nail she tries to do it and it hurt so bad i pulled my finger so quickly and i was like what are you doing like what in your mind makes you say i'm gonna push down on the nail that hurts so stupid anyways so she sees that like i'm getting angry she sees that i'm not cooperating with her because she's doing stupidness and then she's like oh i really want to use this new thing and i was like well oh i really want to keep my finger and she catches an attitude like i didn't really say that to her but that's what i was thinking in my head so 
she catches an attitude and then she gets the band-aid this band-aid and she picks it up and she's like well we're just gonna put a band-aid on then and then she she's like you know what you put on the band-aid and she like passes it to me so rudely and i was like okay and i she just stood there watching me put on my band-aid and then i was like okay it's done and she walks away she goes like this she goes and just walks away what you're telling me i spent four hours in the hospital for sterile water which i could just boil that home and put it in the fridge to make it cold and a band-aid nothing nothing they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand like i was so mad yesterday guys like i was gonna film this video yesterday but we ended up doing some stuff yesterday and i'm happy that i didn't because i would have been so mad in this video like right now i'm calm i was so mad that hospital is a disgrace i decided to give it a chance you know never been there i've heard horror stories after horror stories and I'm like, you know what? It's close by. I don't feel like going to a far hospital. I'm going to give it a chance. I gave it a chance. And look what happened. I got an ending. Yay. So, I don't know. I'm not going to make this video too long, guys. So, that's that. I don't know what else to say. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me some comments down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time on Celeste's Corner.